helping around. Ever since Mrs. Claus left, I've been an absolute wreck. Not jolly old Saint Nick anymore, that's for goddamn sure. All I do all day is scrape the back of my head against the wall and look at my sweaty, greasy thighs and wonder how anybody ever loved me. And Mrs. Claus isn't Mrs. Claus anymore, is she? She's Mrs. Hot, Sexy, Muscular Man in Hawaii with a big house on the lake and no cares of the world. Just sex and money. Fucking I'm feel such a fucking feel. Feel. Hey, Mr. Claus. Get the hell out of here, Rudolph. Mr. Claus, what's going on, Santa? Don't you dare look at me, Rudolph. But Santa... Go away, Rudolph. Go away. Oh, God damn it. God damn it, Santa. You gotta get yourself together. You gotta get off your ass. What the... Come on. No, stop it. Stop it. Santa. Santa, get off your ass. Santa, I've never seen you like this. Come on, get up. Stop being so depressed. I can't. I just fucking can't. There's a lot of work to be done around here, Santa. Come on, we can't do it without you. Okay, yeah, you're right. You're right, Rudolph. I gotta I gotta get myself together. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Rudolph. I've been a terrible Santa Claus. That's okay, Santa. Don't you worry. I, I just want you to feel better. But the thing is, I did come in here to tell you something. I did find another dead elf. I, he was face down in the, the stable, and I turned him around, and his throat was slashed. Oh, God. There was a big oh. pool of blood, and, and uh, I, I think they were dealing with a killer. There just can't be this many suicides. This is like the seventh in a month. Uh, so we, we start... You're gonna need Fuck. to start taking this seriously Fuck. and maybe start investigating yeah. who the killer yeah, is. Yeah, no, I got it. Just stop fucking nagging me for once. Just let get the fuck out of here. I gotta put some pants on, alright? Just leave me alone. Okay, Santa. Alright. You sure you're okay? I'm gonna beat the shit out of you, Rudolph, if you don't leave right now. I'm out of here. I'm out. Goodbye. Okay, Santa, you fat fuck. Time to put your stockings on and be Saint Nick. Alright, jolly old Saint Nick. Here I come. Okay. First things first, I gotta raise morale around here. I gotta go around, and talk to my elves, and pretend like uh, someone isn't going around and draining their blood. Do not mention the murderer. Okay, let's make some elves happy. Hey, it's me, Santa Claus. Santa's home. Come on, where's the Santa Claus, eh? Yeah, there we go. There we go. How we doing? We good? Nice slap on the back for you. How are you doing? Oh, I'll tell you, I'll, I'd be better if I wasn't doing this fucking work, Santa Claus. Okay. Thank you very much for the feedback, Scoot. Uh, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not Scoot. That's Scoot. Oh, okay. I'm Skeet. Okay. And that's Scout. Right. And that's Skirt. And there's Scrap. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And that's Scrat. Okay. And there's Scamp. Okay. And that's Scott. That's enough. That That's enough. Stop. Okay? I, I've had enough. All right? Uh, here's the problem with you millennial elves, okay? With millennials. What's that? Millennials. Millennials. Oh, that's funny, Rudolph. Yeah, good joke. Okay, here's the problem with you millennials, Skeet. Okay, you got no work ethic. You know, back in the day, the elves just used to work, 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 slam their little hammers and their little wrenches and their little uh, screwdrivers, and they wouldn't say a thing. They would just sing, 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 and work, work, work all day. No, They didn't have a complaint about it, you know, and they barely slept, too. It was a 20-hour work day. They were unhappy, sure, but they didn't they didn't care. They liked being unhappy. Hey, come on. What I lack in worth ethic, I make up for in good looks and charm. Hey, that's true, Skeet. You are a real fucking charmer. I like you, kid. I hope you don't die. What was that? Oh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Did you say I hope you don't die? Ah, uh, fuck. Okay, all right, you know what? Everybody, listen up. Okay, I got an announcement. Uh, I can't hold it in anymore. There, There is a murderer on the loose. Uh, uh, a serial killing elf killer guy. We're not sure who it is. It could be one of you. could be one of the reindeer. could be, you know, maybe one of the people that live around. The, maybe a penguin. Do penguins live around the North Pole? I don't know. Uh, it could be, you know... Uh, uh, Frankenstein's monster, for all we know. We, there are no clues, all right? But there, you may be noticing there's like been like seven elves missing or, or committing suicide or whatever they, they you, we've told you about that. Well, that none of that is true. We're pretty sure it's, it's a malicious person that either hates the elves or gets a sexual pleasure from killing them or something like that. So just, 
you know, curfew, go in early. Just don't trust anyone. Don't even trust yourselves. You know, you could be, you could be like a, it's a werewolf disease. You know, you go to sleep and then you wake up and you killed an elf. If that's you, if you think that's you, could you tell us? And we'll we'll lock you up and make sure you don't kill any more elves. But it is a problem. So yeah, don't be worried though. I mean, keep morale up high. We gotta. We, there are only a few months till Christmas, so you know it's crunch time. So uh, the last thing we need is for you guys to stop working. Because, so you you're expected to come into work, but we, you're also expected to take care of yourself and not die. Or I'll be really mad at you if you uh, slip up and you uh, make yourself vulnerable to the serial killing. Elf killer guy. I, d- I don't know what to call him yet. We don't have a cool name for him yet. I don't think serial killer, elf killer guys. That's not going to stick. Anyway, um, we'll figure it out. Just chill. Honestly, no, no, no. Stop. Stop the panicking. Stop with the pan. No, guys. Honestly, it's going to be fine. Sit down. Do your work. Just put. put- okay, this is pandemonium. Rudolph, what the fuck are we going to do here? I don't know. I don't know what to do. Oh, fuck. They are rioting. We have to get the hell out of here. Let's go, Rudolph. Go run. 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 Quick, quick, into the library, into the library. Shut the door, shut the door. Oh, fuck, Rudolph. That did not go well. Yeah, they're very upset. I know, right? Like, do they not even care that I'm going through a breakup right now? Yeah, but that was like five years ago. It doesn't fucking matter when it happened, Rudolph. It still hurts, you know? God, Mrs. Claus. No, no, Santa, this is not the time for moping, okay? We have to figure out how we're going to get out of this. Well, why don't we stay in here and wait for the serial killing elf killer guy to just pick them all off? That's a good That's a good plan, right? Oh, fuck. Someone's at the door. Rudolph, what should we do? I think we should not answer the door. I just, they're very angry right now. It seems like a bad idea. Well, m- maybe they've thought about it. They've calmed down. This is just a big misunderstanding. They just want to negotiate. They want to figure it out. They want to t- They want to apologize. That's what they want to do. They want to say they're sorry. Yeah, I'll, I'll go answer the door. Wait, no, no. Rudolph, you go answer the door. You answer the door, and I'll hide behind this chair. Go, 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 go. Uh, I don't know. I don't Rudolph, think- go answer the door, or you're fired. Uh, okay. Okay. Who is it? Oh, oh my oh. God. Oh, my God. Oh. Holy shit, they stabbed Rudolph. Oh my God, <gasps> Rudolph, are you okay? Oh my God, Santa, I don't think I'm gonna make it. Oh God! Oh shit, this is gross. So much Zena, blood. Santa, please tell my children. Rudolph, just shut up, okay? I need to figure out how I'm gonna get out of here. I feel the taste of death on my lips. Shut up, oh. Rudolph. Oh. Shut up. Oh. Shut up. Oh. All right, what the fuck am I gonna do now? What? What's going on right now? Something coming through the ceiling. It better not be a goddamn elf. Hey. Who the hell are you? I'm a green goblin. What the fuck? I'm the one that's been killing the elves. <laughs> Wait, you're the serial killer elf killer guy? What the hell have you been killing the elves for, man? They didn't give me the beige jeans that I wanted for Christmas. Wait, I'm Santa Claus. I'm the one that decides who gets what. Shouldn't you be mad at me? What did you just say? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I said that those son of a bitch elves deserve what they get. You're right, t- to kill them. Oh, yes. Thank you for vindicating me, Santa Claus. All right, where are the elves? I'm going to kill another one of them. Well, actually, all the all the elves are out, outside right now. Oh, it's my lucky day. Terrific. I can kill all of them all at once, and you can help me. I got lots of guns. Okay. Inner monologue time, Santa. Got a big decision to make. On the one hand, I could arrest this goblin and I could give him to the elves and be celebrated as the man that caught their killer. Or I could pick up a gun and be friends with this little green goblin for the rest of my life. Hmm. All right, goblin, let's kill some fucking elves. Before we get started, there is one thing I think I should tell you. What is it, goblin? I'm a very naughty goblin. Oh, shit! Goblin, I know this is a weird time to ask you this, but do you want to be my best friend? Santa, I thought you'd never ask! Let's lock this shit down right now, Goblin. Before we kill any more elves, Pinky swear you'll never talk shit about me behind my back. Okay. Uh. Goblin, no! Ha ha ha! Bet you didn't think it would be me shooting the goblin in the head. Scoot, you fucking bastard! No, Santa, we went over this. I'm Skeet! Fuck you, you smug prick! 
holding a gun in one hand and your Dr. Pepper in your other. Have some decency and put the Dr. Pepper down before you kill my best friend. Get him, boys. Tie him up. What the hell? Get off of me. Get off of me, you bastards. Out. Get him out of here. Where the hell are you taking me? What the fuck? See you in another galaxy, Santa Claus. What the fuck does that mean? Galaxy. What is this room? Where am I? What's going on? Uh, uh, oh my god! Oh, oh, oh my god! space right now. Those little bastards sent me to space. How'd they get a space shuttle? They've been making a space shuttle? Instead of making toys, those little pricks? How the hell am I going to get back to Earth? Jesus Christ! It's get- Earth is getting farther and farther! Holy shit, guys! This is just a joke, right? Oh my god. What a day I've had. Oh my god, highs and lows. But one point, I'm crying over my ex, and then I have a new best friend, and now I'm in fucking space. I'm alone for... I don't know how long. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? I'm fucking bored. Space is fucking boring. And I'm tied up right now. I can't even move about the cabin. Jesus fucking Christ, this thing is going fucking fast. Like, boldly going where nobody's gone before type shit. This isn't, like, going to m- the moon for a weekend or something. This is... We're, we're, we're taking strides right now. Holy shit. Six years later. Oh, hi. This is what I look like now. Yep, that's me, Santa Claus. I'm a hardened, rusty nail now. Yeah, after those elves shipped me into space, I floated around in the deep space for several years, eating my own arms and legs bit by bit every other day just to keep myself satisfied while drinking my own blood so I was hydrated. It was awful. I ate my own beard as well. That's why I'm not... I don't have a beard anymore. My classic beard is gone. And then... A few years into the trip, I crashed into a distant planet where there was a bunch of robot alien creatures running the place. So they gave me these robot legs and robot arms, and now I run about freely on this planet. Actually, one day I stole an iPad from somebody, or their version of an iPad, and uh, I went to jail for a while. And uh, I actually became a prison fighter. I was I was pretty good. I I fought a lot of people, fought a lot of robots and other aliens. There wasn't just robots there. There were flesh and blood creatures. I was actually really good at fighting this one alien race of people they're very small and very weak and i would pick fights with them um and i actually killed a few of them and it 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 raised my sentence a bit and as i laid here in solitary confinement can't even jack off because my balls will scrape against the concrete i thought about those elves and how they betrayed me me santa claus i was their fucking friend and they sent me out to space and they don't even say goodbye or send a postcard or anything and they killed my best friend that little green thing whatever he was can't remember it's been a while the thirst for vengeance rises inside of me and i get out of here in just a few hours and when i do well, first I'm going to find a, a robot or something or an alien or something to have sex with because it's been a while. And then after that, I am going to go back to Earth and go right to the North Pole and go knocking on those elves' doors and say, Remember me? It's revenge time. I haven't thought too far past that. I know I will get my revenge after I say it's revenge time. I haven't thought of how. I thought there's a few th- ideas kicking around in my head, but the it's revenge time thing, that's for sure. I'm for sure going to say that. Time for you to go, Claus. All right. Thanks for everything, robot prison guard. If I ever see you on the other side of this prison, I swear to God, I will kick your fucking ass so hard. Jesus Christ. Who's that? Jesus Christ? Uh, he's my friend from Earth. Yeah. We share a birthday. Well, if I ever see Jesus Christ too, I'll kick the shit out of him too. I'll bend him over sideways and shove his nose up his dick. Oh my god, is this still about how I took a shit on your son? It wasn't my fault that he looks like a toilet, alright? Your shit got inside the wiring of his heart and he died. Yeah. And I said I was sorry about that. No, you didn't. Well, where I come from, being bitter and holding grudges is actually a really ugly look on people. So, yeah. 
Get the fuck out of here right now. Fine. I was going anyway, so you don't even need to say that, all right? Goodbye. And let me say goodbye to my friends, all right? Goodbye, Boom Boom. Goodbye, Bing Bing. Goodbye, Bong Bong. Goodbye, JJ. Goodbye, Jojo. Goodbye, Jason. Goodbye, Kitty Cat. That's enough. Get out. Go. Whoo! I'm a free man. Hey, you. Hello. Where's the nearest city? Uh, th- that would be Robot City. It's about a 20-minute ride on the scooter. And by chance, in Robot City, are there women? Uh, y- yes. And, uh, follow-up question, are these women sexy? Uh, well, yeah, I'm kind of the wrong guy to ask. What do you mean? Why? I have high standards. Well, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to hop on that motorbike of yours. It's a scooter. And you're going to drive me to Robot City. Well, actually, I'm already kind of late for a dinner with my grandmother. Shut the fuck up and drive. Okay. Well, here we are. Wow, Robot City is a fucking dump. Whoa, 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 stop. There's a woman right over there. Wow. What do you think of her? Uh, she's not really my type. Oh, so your type isn't hot legs and boobs. Okay. I only sleep with 12s. All right, wait here while I go talk to her. Actually, can I leave? My grandmother will be heartbroken if I miss dinner. Absolutely fucking lootly not. I might need a ride after this. You stay right fucking there or I'll kill you. Okay. Well, excuse me. Hello there. Oh, hello. Let me ask you something. Do you know who I am? No, should I? Well, let me get you up to speed, honey. I'm Santa Claus. I'm an immortal being from Earth. I'm actually kind of a big deal over there. I'm a bit of a sex symbol, okay? I go into people's houses while they're sleeping, and I give them what they want, okay? And sometimes it's sex. Oh, my. Yeah. And uh, as you can imagine, I've gotten pretty good at it. And actually, I'm feeling pretty charitable today, so I've been going up to ladies on the street and offering them my expertise, if you know what I mean. Oh, well, typically I'd like a man to buy me dinner first. Oh, you want dinner? Oh, why don't you say something? I know a great place about 20 minutes out of the city where an old, gross lady cooks you dinner in a house. Ooh, sounds lovely. Yup, it is fucking lovely. And you know what's lovelier? I got us a driver, okay? Come meet our driver. This is, uh, this is Jesus Christ. He's actually a pretty big deal on Earth, too. He's the son of God. Jesus, introduce yourself. Hi, uh, I'm Jesus. Jesus Christ, how fuck? And Rudy, you asked the beautiful lady what her name is. Oh, sorry. Uh, what's your name? Oh, well, my name is Fish Dingleberry Bongo Flamingo Pizza Pepperoni Pie. Oh, well, isn't that a fucking lovely name? Jesus, isn't that a lovely name? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, great. Now, Fish Bongo Pizza Bongo. Uh, why don't you get on the back of the motorbike? It's a scooter. And I'll get on there, too. Now, Jesus, drive us to your grandmother's place. What? Drive us to your fucking grandma's house, you little prick. All right, we're here. Actually, Jesus, do you mind riding around the block just once? I have a bit of a situation here. Um, it's a stage four boner. And uh, actually, I think just a ride around. I don't want your grandmother to see me like this. So just a ride around the block, if that's okay. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. And fish, if you could just hop off, just just what we're just gonna go around the block. We just need to we, we need to have a bit of a, a bit a business meeting. So yeah, just go yeah, step off. Okay, thanks, we'll be right back. And one more time actually. Yeah, I was gonna say I I can feel it on my leg. Shut up, just go. Alright, dinner time. Let's go. I'm here, Grandma. Let's go open up, you old hag. Oh, grandson, I thought you'd never make it. Holy shit. Hi, Grandma. Give me a kiss. Mm. Oh, my God. Oh, and you brought friends. Yes, hello, Mrs. Christ. My name is Santa Claus, and this is Fish Dick? Fish Fish Dick? Is that Fish Woman. This is Fish Woman. And uh, we're very excited to be here. I've been in prison for years. So I haven't had a good meal in a while, so this better be good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, please come in. Jesus Christ, why didn't you tell me your grandmother was a fucking smoke show? It would have saved us a trip to the city. No wonder your standards are so high. You don't want to fuck anyone that's not as hot as your grandmother. Uh, th- Santa, that's so gross. Well, everyone, here's the dining room. Unfortunately, there's only three chairs. Oh, that's okay. Uh, Jesus can eat outside. What? Get out. Goodbye. All right, let's eat. All right, here's your food. 
Oh, God, what is this? Oh, it's worms, of course. It's a delicacy on my home planet. Oh, it's terrific. Thank you. Oh, my God. Honestly, Mrs. Crace, I'd rather eat shit out of your toilet. Oh, okay. The washroom's just down the hall. There's plenty. Oh, God, no. No, I'm actually going to go to your washroom, but I'm going to go puke. Well, save some for me. Oh, God, no. So, Fishwoman, have you heard of the Bechdel test? No, what is it? Well, the Bechdel test is a measure of female representation in a work of fiction. To pass the Bechdel test, a movie must have two female characters, those female characters must talk to each other, and they must talk about something other than a man. All right, I'm back. What the fuck are you two talking about? Say, Fishwoman, what do you say we bring this upstairs, huh? Mrs. Christ, you don't mind if we use your bedroom for a couple of hours, do you? I suppose not. Have fun, you kids. Let's go, Santa Claus. Ooh, baby. Grandma, can I come inside now? No. All right, baby, let's get smooching. Ooh, mama. Mommy. Oh, yeah. Yes. Ah, ah. Ooh. Oh, God, it's disgusting. What's wrong with it? You're uncircumcised. What, you don't like the hood? Absolutely not. On my planet, you'd be shot for having a thing like that. And if you think that I'll have sex with you while you still have your foreskin, well, then you are mistaken. Oh, God. All right. I'll be right back. Hey, Mrs. Christ, do you have a knife? Yes, here you go. Great, thanks. And how about a cutting board? Sure, take this. Great, thank you, thank you. Okay, I'll just do it here. Actually, Mrs. Christ, you might want to shield your eyes for this. Yeah, just cover them right up. Okay, here we go. This is not how I thought I'd be spending my Wednesday. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. Oh, oh, God, oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to look at it. Oh my god, it's still hanging off. It's like a hangnail. Oh my god, I gotta do it again. Oh, oh, come on, come on. This is a dull nice. Mrs. Christ, come on. Okay, well, all right, I'm gonna just do it three times. One. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, it's off now. Oh my god, it's off. Oh, it, it rolled under your couch. Oh my god. I'm gonna, there's a lot of blood. I'm gonna need some paper towel. Okay, thank you, thank you. Whoo, all right. Whoo. Did you have to do that right in the dining room? Did you have to watch from the window like a fucking pervert? No. Okay. Mrs. Christ, thank you for letting me circumcise myself in your dining room. I'm going to go back up to your bedroom and have sex with the fish woman. News flash. Santa's home, but you can call me sexy cowboy. Oh, my. So, how did it feel? Extremely painful. Do you have nails in your vagina? Why, yes. Thank you for noticing. I don't think my penis has bled this many times in one day. Okay, I'll go to the washroom now and give birth to your baby. My what? Your baby. It's incubated for about 30 seconds now and it's about ready to come out. What the fuck? I don't want a fucking baby. Then why would you have sex with me? For pleasure. How do you expect to have sex for pleasure when there are a bunch of nails in my vagina? I was asking myself the same question. Well, regardless if you want it or not, it's illegal for a father to abandon his baby. So, unless you want to go to prison, you must raise it until it's ready for college. Ah, God, I fucking hate space. Now excuse me, I must give birth. Oh, fuck. Come and meet your son. What the fuck? He's fucking huge. He's like bigger than me. What the hell is this? Yes, of course he is. Haven't you seen a baby before? Well, how the fuck am I supposed to get him out of the fucking bathroom, let alone down the stairs and out the front door to the spaceship so I can go back to Earth to get revenge on the elves? Well, it's not my problem. Well, is there like a fucking sad, depressing orphanage or something that I can bring it to? No such thing. Not on this planet. What about crib death? No, babies have very long lives. Fuck. Well, I must be going. I have to go golfing. You have to go golfing? It's fucking dark out. You have a lot to learn about this planet. Bye-bye. God damn it. Okay. All right. Well, first things first. Think, Santa. Think, think, think. I've got it. 
Oh, fuck! Oh! Oh! Ow! Oh my- Oh! Oh! Fuck! Oh! Ow! Oh! Ow! Ow! Did you just fall down the stairs? No. Well, it looks like you did. There's guffs all over the stairs and you're all bruised up. Well, since when are you the fucking falling down the stairs police, huh? And who let you in the house anyway? I came in through the chimney. That's fucking my thing. You're fucking obsessed with me, Jesus. What's that in the cat's mouth? Oh, I think that curious little kitty's been under the couch because that is my foreskin. Oh, that's disgusting. It's not that gross, Jesus. Foreskins are beautiful. Oh, gross. He's eating it. Well, maybe foreskins are good for cats. The science just isn't there yet. See? Listen, he's purring. He loves it. Okay? Okay, so there is a reason I came down here. I I, I walked down here in a, in a completely normal way. And the reason I came down is that I have a proposition for you, Mrs. Christ. How would you like to buy a baby? Oh no, I got out of the human trafficking game years ago after I spent my life savings on this dipshit. What? That explains a lot. All right, Mrs. Christ, I'm going to level with you, okay? I have a giant baby upstairs, and God, I don't know if I'm going to be able to raise it on my own. So here's my proposal. You and I, we go on a date. We hit it off great, and we think, hey, maybe we're moving too quickly, but why don't we get married? And we get married that day. And then we raise our baby together. And you fall in love with this baby. You've never met such a charming child. And then all of a sudden we realize that maybe we did move a bit too quickly. So we get a divorce. And in the divorce papers, you get full custody of the baby. All of this takes place in the span of three days. We're moving very quickly. And maybe in those three days, if the baby goes to sleep a little early one night, you and I could work in a sex or two, because, you know, we're two hot and sexy people, so it'd be a waste if we didn't, right? I mean, as long as you don't have nails in your vagina or something, <laughs> apparently that's a thing, which I knew about that 20 minutes ago. So why don't, what do you say? Why don't we get right to it, huh? Well, it is a charming proposal, but I'm seeing someone. Fuck! Oh, that's him now, actually. Hello. You look beautiful tonight. Oh, shit. Why, thank you, robot prison guard. I'm sorry I'm late. I was once again crying over the death of my son. Come in, robot prison guard. Come meet my grandson. Shit. I'd love to. Hi, I'm Catface. I always hold a cat in front of my face. Uh, no questions, please. Oh, yes. This is my grandson's friend. Oh, yeah. We're good friends, aren't we, Jesus Christ? Wait. Is your name really Jesus Christ? Uh... Yeah, I guess it is today. Nice to meet you. Are you, by chance, friends with a man with robot arms and legs named Santa Claus? I mean, yeah, I guess we're friends. We, Yeah, we know each other. I'm gonna beat your ass, Jesus Christ. What? Oh! Oh! This is the worst day of my life. Well, it looks like this party's just getting started, but uh, old cat face, I'm getting tired. So uh, I better get going. So I'm going to just go now. <coughs> oh, shit. Come back, kitty. Come back to your home on my face. Oh, God. What's it doing? It's unzipping my fly. Oh, my God. The cat is eating my foreskin. Oh, oh I can't stop it because my arms and legs are broken. Well, it looks like the cat has become addicted to eating foreskins. We should have saw this coming. Oh, God, I loved my foreskin. Well, look on the bright side. At least now you can have sex with fish women. I don't expect you to understand. But my foreskin was my only friend. I used to put googly eyes on it and make it talk like a puppet. I would sometimes even put a little bow tie on him. He was the only one that ever listened to me. And you remember that I told you that I had high standards? Well, it's because I'm already in love. My foreskin was not just my best friend. We were going to get married. But now, he's gone. And I might be in a wheelchair for the rest of my life after that savage beating. Shut the fuck up, you little fucking nerd. Santa Claus, I now direct my attention at you. You fucking asshole. You are not a cat face at all. Oh my god. Robot prison guard, is that you? You are just the person I wanted to see right now. You're not going to believe this. I felt so bad about pooping on your son that the first thing I did when I got out of prison was have sex with a sexy hot woman. 
What? I don't understand what that has to do with my son. We made a beautiful baby for you, and he is upstairs waiting for you to sign those adoption papers. Oh my god, I'm going to be a daddy again. Yup, and the best part about him is he's huge, okay? The more the merrier, as I always like to say, there's no mistake in that kid for a toilet. Um, Santa? What, Jesus? You're stepping on me. I don't give a shit. All right, who's got a Sharpie? I got some adoption papers to write up. Here. Thank you, and do you have any paper? Fuck no, bitch. Stop asking me for shit. Oh my god, Fine. I didn't know kindness was in short supply around here. Jesus Christ. What? No, I wasn't talking. Wait, I got an idea. Jesus, take off your shirt. My arms are broken. Fine, I'll take it off for you, you fucking douchebag. Ow! All right, be quiet. What are you doing? I'm using your stomach to write up adoption papers so I can get the fuck out of here. Oh, it tickles. Actually, it feels pretty good. Kind of like a massage. <laughs> no one's ever touched my stomach. Mm. Ooh. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh. Jesus, did you just come? I'm sorry. All right, robot prison guard. All you got to do is sign right here under Jesus's belly button, and you are the owner of a nice, little, disgusting, big, fat, uh, stupid baby. Uh, okay. Here? Yep, right there. Right over right over the line. Okay. Mmm, yeah. Oh, right. The fucking baby is yours, RPG. And now it's time for Santa Claus to finally... Get the fuck out of this house. I have been here for way too fucking long, and uh, honestly, I'm ready to fucking shoot myself if I have to be here for a minute longer. So, goodbye, Jesus. Goodbye, robot prison guard. And Mrs. Christ, thank you for being so fucking hot. But before I go, I'm going to go take a shit. 20 minutes later. What took you so long? I took a shit on the baby and I'm pretty sure he's dead. You son of a bitch. Well, gotta go. Bye. Wow, what a fucking night that was, huh? Jesus Christ, what a bunch of dumbasses. You may have gotten away this time, you fucking dick. But I'm going to hunt you down. Down. Oh, God, I gotta get off this planet. Well, at least it's a beautiful night. Four! <whistles> Fuck! Intermission. Hello there. I hope you are enjoying the movie Elfing Around. My name is Joel Edmiston. I am the writer, producer, editor, and only actor in this movie. I just wanted to pause and remind you that I am a normal person, just in case you were thinking I'm weird for making this. I am just a totally normal guy, nothing weird about me. I enjoy many regular human activities, such as ping pong, darts, shuffleboard, pool, bowling, lawn bowling, cycling, bocce ball, ultimate frisbee, frisbee golf, shot put, water polo, marco polo, canoeing, kayaking, diving, tennis, soccer, hockey, basketball, baseball, softball, t-ball, football, squash. I also enjoy a nice tall beer with a heavy head and sometimes I eat several pounds of chicken wings. So yeah, I'm very normal regular, nothing weird about me. Everything that happens in this movie was whispered to me by the dainty little squirrels that live in my chair. Okay, so enjoy the rest of the movie and don't even think anything bad about me. Okay, so let's rewind a bit to remind you what just happened. Four! Fuck! Oh dear, it seems we've hit another human on a motorbike. Those pesky things should learn to stay off the roads at night. What shall we do this time, Blim Blim the Elephant? Let's do what we always do, Wednesday the Golfing Dog. Let's put him in my bag and play the rest of our 18, and then we'll go sell his bones to the spider monster. Ah, an excellent idea. Allow me to lift him up and put him in your giant elephant-sized golf bag and zip him up. Why, thank you so much. The pleasure is mine. You know what I like about us? May I guess? Of course. Is it that we're very polite? Yes, exactly. We are two extremely polite night golfers. I just love that about us. Well, shall we keep golfing away then? Yes. After you? No, no. After you. Why, thank you. Night golf. Night golf. Night golf.
ないか。Hold my calls, don't make me any appointments, cause I'm night golfing. Won't be sleeping tonight, cause I'm night golfing, night golfing, night, night golfing, night golfing, night, yeah. Hole in one. Oh, where the fuck am I? Who turned out the lights, hey? <laughs> Oh, what the fuck's at my feet? What are these? Golf balls? Empty beer cans? A half eaten hot dog? Am I in a giant golf bag right now? How am I gonna get out of this one? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, look, a gun. This might come in handy. I've been shot! Wednesday, no! Hello there, I'm Santa Claus. How you doing, folks? Oh, God, no. Don't you die on me, Wednesday. Don't you die on me. Say, you know where I can find a spaceship to get off this planet? Goodbye, Blim Blim. Thank you for golfing with me. You're very welcome, Wednesday. <laughs> hey, Babar, you're being kind of rude. I just asked you a question, you're totally ignoring me. I am not rude. You can call me a lot of things, but you can't call me rude. Well, I just did call you rude, so there you go. My dick's on the table. Wow, you are a real piece of work, eh? Yes, I am. Now, show me to the spaceship, or I'll shoot your trunk off. Spaceship? What spaceship? I don't have a spaceship. What are you talking Come about? Come on, you might know somebody that has one lying around somewhere. Oh, yeah. Actually, I do. The spider monster has a great... Big, beautiful spaceship that will take you right where you need to go. Oh, Spider Monster, eh? You don't say. Okay, well, take me to her then. Let's go. You're not gonna let me finish my 18 first? No, I will remind you that I am the one with the gun, and you are the one with the trunk, that I am just. I want to shoot it off. Once the trunk leaves an elephant, you're not an elephant anymore. You're just a gray thing with big ears. Well, technically, I'd still be an elephant even if I didn't have my trunk. It's not up for debate. Now take me to the spider monster so she can put me on a spaceship to Earth. All right, fine. But just so you know, it's about a three hour walk from here. And that's with my legs. And I'll, I'll be going your pace. You don't have a golf cart or anything? Golf cart? No, I don't need a golf cart. It's not seniors night. Well, looking at those wrinkles on your eyes and your upper lip and your forehead, I would have thought otherwise. Wow, that's really insulting. Well, I'll remind you again that I got a gun that'll hurt more than just your feelings. It'll make you not an elephant because you won't have a trunk. Well, no, actually, I will still be an elephant. No, you will not. An elephant is not an elephant without a trunk. Now let's get going. You don't have any fucking trail mix, do you? No, I don't. Come on, you're an elephant. You don't have peanuts? No, I don't. Okay, fine, chill. I'm just saying, the trunk is like the main vocal point of an elephant. It's what everybody says when you think of an elephant, you think of their trunks. So if you take away the trunks, you're taking away the main factor of an elephant, so you would have to call it something else. I don't even use my trunk that much. Okay, it doesn't, it's not my main feature in my, I don't even think about it. Yeah, well, I'm the one with the gun, so I'm right. Wow, that gun was not meant to be used for power trips like this, okay? When I bought it, it was meant for protection. Yeah, that's what everybody says. No, I, I mean it. I have a very violent ex stepfather. I don't, I can't play 18 holes in peace. I bring that thing to the grocery store. Oh my god, TMI, dude. I don't want to hear about your personal life. Okay, sorry. Are we almost there? No, please stop asking me that. I will tell you when we're almost there, okay? <sighs> It'd be nice to have some trail mix right now, I'll tell you that. Again, with the trail mix. Yeah, if you go for a walk, you take trail mix. That's why they call it trail mix. Trail, because you walk along a, along a trail. I didn't know I was going for a walk. I didn't know that, that I should be packing trail mix for you. There's, o there's only a few hours left, and just please just stop talking. I'll tell you what would shut me up is a handful of trail mix. Oh my god, pretty soon I'm gonna ask you to borrow that gun so I can shoot myself. Dude, you really shouldn't joke about suicide. I knew a bunch of elves once that, that committed suicide, and it was, it was really tragic. Actually, elf, elephant. 
But you're kind of like an elf. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are, because you're an elephant. Elf, elephant. It's pretty close. I'm not an elf, okay? I'm not an elf. You're like an elf. You are. You're elfing around. You're elephant around. How about that? Let's change the name of this movie right now. It's not elfing around anymore. It's elephant around. Official, going forward, that's the name of this movie. The movie is now called Elephant Around. And that's when I said, I don't care if it's my shit. It's your son, so clean him up. Wow. You know, Elephant, I've been meaning to ask you something. You see, I used to have a best friend, but he got shot, and he died. Same thing happened to me, actually. Really? Yeah, not too long ago, actually, like an hour or two ago. Oh, cool, whatever. Uh, well, what I wanted to ask you was, do you want to be my best friend? What? I said, do you want to be my best friend? Uh, oh, never mind. Forgive me for thinking we had a connection. No, I, I was just... No, no, I don't want to hear it. You were hesitating. I, if you, I, I, w- I want somebody who wants to be my best friend to be my best friend. I'll be your best friend. I, I, it, I don't care. I'll be your best friend. I was just, I, I was caught off guard. Are you serious? You want to be my best friend? Sure. Yeah. It, if you want me to be, I will be. Oh, great. Okay. All right. Well, first things first. If you're my best friend, you have to lick the blood off my penis. What? My penis has been bleeding all day and it's like stained red. I need somebody to lick it up. A cloth isn't going to do the trick. No, I am not going to do that. No way. Fine. Then you're not my best friend. Okay, fine. Then I'm not your best friend. Yeah, good. I can find someone else to be my best friend now. Okay, good. Yeah, find someone. Oh, look what I found. A rock. This rock is my best friend now. No, it's not. A rock can't be a best friend. Yeah, it can. It is. It already is my best friend. It's a ro- my rock friend. Is the rock going to lick your bloody penis? Do you see a fucking tongue on this rock? Rocks don't have tongues, dude. Well, the criteria for me being your best friend was licking the blood off your penis. Why don't you hold the rock to the same standard, huh? Whoa, someone's jealous. I'm not jealous. Yes, you are, dude. You're green with envy. No, I am not green. Just admit that you wish you were the rock. Give me that rock. No, you can't take my best friend from me. He's not your best friend. Yes, he is. Ah! No! You just threw my best friend off a cliff. Yes, I did. You're a murderer. I guess I am, yeah. I didn't know you were so cold-blooded. Oh, okay, so you don't want me to walk you to the spider monster anymore? You don't want to see the spaceship anymore? No, no, it's fine. I just want you to know that you're a fucking psychopath who murders people's best friends. No, I'm I'm fully aware of that. Good. It is good. I'm not going to let you have the last word. Fine by me. Good, then you'll be fine if the thing that I'm saying right now is the last thing that's said in this argument. Are we there yet? No. Oh, yes. Actually, we are. Ah, Blim Blim the Elephant. How marvelous it is to see you. Oh, is this the spider monster? <laughs> yes, it is. What did the eight legs give it away? <laughs> Actually, yeah. So, spider monster, this is uh, Santa Claus. Oh, yes. Let me guess. Uh, you were out for another one of your little golf games, and you hit him on the head with your little ball, and now you bring him back here so I can buy his bones from you. Is this right? Yes. Wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? You're talking about buying my bones? Nobody's buying my bones. Nobody's selling my bones. No one's buying or selling my bones. My bones are staying in my body, okay? Elephant, did you did you fucking betray me, dude? Did you bring me here so that you could sell my f- bones to this spider? I bet there's not even a fucking spaceship here, is there? Spider monster, is there a spaceship here? No, there is no spaceship, no. Wow, elephant, you fucking stabbed me in the back. You were supposed to be my best friend. I'm not your best friend. Do I look like a rock to you? You actually do look like a rock to me because you're gray. Well, I'm not a fucking rock. I'm an elephant. Well, you're not a fucking elephant anymore. Oh my god, you shot my trunk off! Yeah, I did. Is that any fucking surprise to you? This whole time I've been talking about if you cross me, I fucking shoot your trunk off. How do you not put two and two together if I walk in with a gun and I find out that the spider monster is going to buy my bones from you? I'm not going to shoot you in the trunk? You fucking idiot. Disarm me before we come to the spider monster. Aren't elephants supposed to be fucking wise? You're thinking of owls. Okay, well you're not a fucking owl. All right, and you're definitely not a fucking elephant. I can't call this movie Elephant Around anymore. That's definitely off the table because there's no elephants in the movie anymore. I mean, there's barely any elves, so we can't really call it Elfing Around anymore. I say we switch the whole fucking thing. We're not. There's nothing around, okay? Let's name it after me, Santa. I'm I'm Switchblade Santa. That's what the movie is. Switchblade Santa or, or Santa's out to kill or Santa's gonna fuck you up. Something like that. Something cool like that. How about that? Citizen Santa. That's a good one. 
Citizen Switchblade Santa. Yeah, that's good. I like that one. Where's the Switchblade coming from? You don't have a Switchblade. Fuck. I don't need a fucking Switchblade. I'm so tired of fucking dealing with you, dude. I'm just saying you don't have a Switchblade. No, I know what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. It's coming coming through clear, okay? Switchblade Santa is just a nickname, okay? It doesn't mean that I have a Switchblade. Well, it kind of implies that you have a Switchblade, don't you think? Switchblade Santa? I would... If if someone was named Switchblade Steve, I'd think that Steve held a Switchblade all the time. Well, I'm not fucking Switchblade Steve, okay? I'm Switchblade. Santa. You're not Switchblade Santa because you don't have a Switchblade. You have a gun. You're Gun Santa. I'm not fucking Gun Santa. Don't f- call me fucking Gun Santa. That's fucking stupid. The name of the movie is Citizen Gun Santa. No, that is so fucking stupid. Citizen Gun Santa is the name of the movie. Oh my god, fuck off. Very sorry to interrupt, but there is something in the sky. Look up. See, you, you see. It. Oh my god. Is that what I think it is? Hello, and thank you for letting us land on your beautiful planet. Do not fear us. We are a peaceful creature. We believe that love is the answer to all the world's problems, which is why we have come here today. Love was not able to put out the fire on our planet, which killed most of our species. So we are begging you to let us borrow some of your resources, like a hose, or some water, a couple buckets, Oh, some water guns. Anything that would help us put out the fire. There are only a few of our species left, and we would love to get back to our planet as quick as possible so we can save them. Excuse me? Oh, hello. Yeah, hi. So how's this work? Is it just like a key or a button or something? It's a button, but... What exactly are you doing? Oh, I'm stealing your spaceship to take to Earth. And the button, is it clearly labeled? Yeah, it's the big red button in the cockpit. But did you not hear my speech earlier? Uh, no. Uh, well, I heard it, but I was, I didn't really give a shit. Uh, how do I close this big door Just here? Just that button there. This button here? Yeah, wait, wait thank no, you. please don't take it. I, I need to get back to my wife. Sorry, no, bye. <laughs> Well, that was easy. I thought I'd never get to leave that fucking planet, but here I am, about to press a red button and say sayonara, sayonara, sayonara. Whatever, here goes. Hello, my name is Miranda. I am a sentient computer. Where would you like to take the spaceship today? Um, Earth, please. Which Earth? Oh, uh, fuck. Um... I don't, um, the first one? Earth 1? Is that a thing? Earth 1? Taking off for Earth 1. Estimated time of arrival, two years from now. All right, let's fucking go. (laughs) Arriving at Earth 1. Ah, fuck. I can tell from here, this is definitely not my Earth, Miranda. Let's try Earth 2. Leaving for Earth 2. Estimated time of arrival, six years from now. Fuck, really? It's going to take that long? It's the opposite of the way we came. Okay, let's go. Arriving at Earth 2. Ah, fuck. Miranda. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this isn't it. Really? Yeah, we got to go to Earth 3. Okay, but you remember two years ago when I said we could take a detour and we could check out Earth 3, but you said, no, no, I'm sure Earth 2 is my Earth. Yeah, I remember, okay? Good, I'm just making sure you remember. It's a vivid memory, okay? Can we turn around, please? Leaving for Earth 3. Estimated time of arrival is two years from now. Yep. So you heard that? Two years from now? That's how long it's going to take. Yeah, I got it. Let's go. Arriving at Earth 3. Is this it? Yes, it is. Oh, so I was right when I suggested we take a detour. When was that? Four years ago? Yeah, okay, you were right. Can we please go down, please, to the Earth? I do just want to point out that it would have saved us quite a bit of time had we listened to me in the first place. I've been on this spaceship for fucking 11 years. I cannot stand you anymore. Can you just... Just go to Earth. Well, there are a lot of places on Earth. I know there are a lot of places on Earth. Why are you saying that? I was just asking you where would you like to go on Earth. No, you weren't. You were saying that there was a lot of places on Earth. That's not asking me a question, okay? You were the most passive-aggressive computer I've ever met in my fucking life. Okay, so you just want me to ask you straight up where you would like to go on Earth? Yes! I would like you to ask me that. Where would you like to go on Earth? The North Pole. No. Wait. Let's go to fucking Hawaii. Second intermission. 
Hi, it's me again, Joel Edmiston. I just wanted to pause the movie once more just in case any of you still think I'm weird. Like, some of you may be thinking, why did you make this? Well, I assure you, I had very not weird intentions. I made this so people in high positions in the entertainment industry will see this film and want to hire me and give me lots of money. I have piles and piles of screenplays, pilots, spec scripts, novels, graphic novels, novellas, short stories, biographies, autobiographies, softcore porn scripts, hardcore porn scripts, self-help books, science books, history books, picture books, pop-up books, slam poetry, and some of these things are actually finished and for sale. But also, I'll do whatever you want me to do. I'll be in your writer's room for your TV show about a bus driver who never smiles. I'll do rewrites on your big budget Hollywood movie about a man who punches a helicopter in the face. I'll take that children's book about the lady who adopted a bunch of CGI hamsters and adapted into a gritty 10 episode miniseries for whatever fancy cable TV channel you work for. I'll even be your craft food truck guy and I'll make you croissants or pickles or something, whatever you want. I really don't care, I just want a job. I'm so poor, I'm a poor little orphan with dirt on my face living underneath the car. Yeah, that's why I'm making this movie. It's all for the money. Money, money, money. I'm a greedy, greedy boy. I swear to God, I get no pleasure from doing this at all. I actually hated making this movie, and if I don't make a million dollars in the next year, I'll cut off my own face and sew it onto my ass. Anyways, enjoy the rest of the movie. Arriving at Hawaii. All right, Miranda, I'll, I don't know how long I'll be, but you just wait in the spaceship. I can't leave the spaceship. I am the spaceship. Well, you know what? Good, because I could use a break from your bullshit. Goodbye. <laughs> Yo, bro, is this your spaceship? Oh, shit, am I not allowed to park here? No, bro, it's all chill. Kumbaya. Welcome to the island, my man. It's good to be here. Good to see that uh, aliens haven't come down and uh, stolen all the water from the Earth. Uh, you know, that's something you know, have to worry about. I'm a bit of a space adventurer. That's nice, bro. I'm a surfer. I can see that. You got your little board there. That's nice. The nice waves there. That's good. Yeah, bro, I'm so grateful to be alive. Very cool. Very cool. So anyway, um... I'm looking for someone by the name of Mrs. Claus, a woman. Do you, do you know where I would be able to find her? Oh, yeah, of course, bro. That's my girlfriend. Oh, so you're the beefcake. Oh, no, I'm meatcake. That's beefcake. Yo, what's up? And that's beef steak. Hang ten. And that's beef stick. Surf's up. And that's meat stick. Whoa, man. And that's ham. Hi. And him over there, that's pork. Hey, live, laugh, love. And that's bacon. That's me. And that's hot dogs. Life's a beach, man. And that's sausages. Hey, little buddy. And that's Scott. Nice to meet you. I'm Scott. Wait, which one of you is your boyfriend? Well, we all are, dude. She's our queen, and we're her sex toys. Oh, uh, God. Boys, it's time for dinner. And of course, by dinner, I mean sex. Oh my god, there she is. Oh, do we have a visitor? Yes, we do, mistress. Sorry, I didn't catch your name. My name is Santa Claus. <laughs> Santa? Is that really you? I'll show you my dick to prove it. Actually, it's a little different than it used to be. I thought you were dead. Why the fuck did you think I was dead? The president of the earth told us you were. Wait. President of the Earth? There's a president of... The, who's a president of the Earth? Well, Skeet the Elf, of course. Skeet the Elf? That slimy little turd is the president of the Earth? Yes, he's the greatest leader we've ever seen. He solved all the world's problems. There is no war anymore, no poverty, no hunger, only love. Well, that tiny little prick was probably spreading lies all about me, wasn't he? He probably said that I was yelling at them all the time, and I killed a bunch of elves, and that I had a habit for taking shits on all the elf children. Well, no, he said that you Dad as a martyr for the cause of world peace, and everything he's done is dedicated to you. There are several statues of you all around the world. Well, I didn't take any shits on any elf children, okay? Well, I, I didn't think you did. Wait, did you? No. Mrs. Claus, the reason I came back here is to ask you to take me back to be my girlfriend again. Wait, what the fuck did you just say, bro? Stand down, meat cake. Mama can take care of her own problems. Yes, of course, my love. You are my Cleopatra. Let me kiss your feet. Good boy. Hey, Mrs. Claus, I'm kind of wait, waiting over here for an answer to my question. Santa, do you see the situation I have here? Yes. Meat cake, that's enough. But, mistress, my lips have not yet touched every inch of your feet. I said that's enough, or would you rather spend the night in the dungeon? Mistress, I will spend eternity in the dungeon if it means I can satisfy the rest of your cold feet with the warm sensation of my wet lips. Well, if you insist. Yo, thank you so much, mistress. Now, Santa, do you see this? Yes. Now, what about this situation makes you think that I would want to take you back? You're right. I don't know why I came here. Honestly, I I knew you wouldn't take me back. I just wanted to see you again. I realize now how foolish that was. You always knew how to make the best out of any situation. And really now, looking back, I can see why you left me. I took you for granted. And... 
16 years in space, I haven't stopped thinking about you. And now, seeing you now with all your sexy, muscular, jacked boyfriends, I... I'm happy for you. Honestly, I'm jealous of you. I'm jealous that you found happiness. At least one of us could. Anyway, goodbye, Mrs. Claus. And goodbye, meat cake. Goodbye, beef cake. Goodbye, beef steak. Goodbye, beef stick. Goodbye, meat stick. Goodbye, ham. Goodbye, bacon. Goodbye, sausages. Goodbye, hot dogs. And goodbye, Scott. Goodbye. Wait, Santa, don't go. How would you like to come and live here with us and be one of my several boyfriends? I can't promise you that I'll have much time to spend with you, but there will be some time. In almost all that time, you will need to wear a mask and have sex with me, and I will barely ever talk to you. And also, I will not call you by your real name. I will make up a name that has something to do with beef, pork, or some other meat. And also, I will beat you within an inch of your life at least once a week. And also, I expect you to be a macho muscle man within a month, or I will hang you out back. You can go out back and see all the unmarked graves of all the boyfriends that weren't up to snuff in a month. And I'm talking 12-pack abs, huge biceps, and an ass that levitates off your thighs. So, what do you think? Sorry, baby, but I gotta go get revenge on an elf. Miranda, take me to the Washington White House and step on it! Arriving at the Washington White House. All right, Miranda, I need your advice on one-liners. This is all I got so far. It's revenge time. That's all? Yeah, that's all. What, you don't like it? Well, you've had 16 years to think about it. I figured you'd have something better than it's revenge time. Okay, okay, how about this one? You better buckle up, Captain, because there's no life jacket buoyant enough to save you this time. Life jacket? What? Is that referencing something? No. Then why are you talking about a life jacket? I don't know. Okay, all right, never mind. I'm going to do another one, okay? Listen to this. You better drink a lot of mother's milk before I get to you because you're going to need the calcium in your bones if you're going to take the beating I'm going to give you. So yeah, suckle up on mother's tits and her udders. Hey, that was a good one. No, it wasn't. Okay, okay, you're right, you're right. I I got a better one. Listen to this. You better be ready to swim, bucko, because I got some milky tits here, and I'm going to flood this place, and I don't see a life jacket to keep you above water. So pucker up, Captain. Maybe you should just go back to saying it's time for revenge. You sure? Oh, I'm absolutely sure, yes. Okay, well, it was actually it's revenge time, not it's time for revenge. It really doesn't matter. It it doesn't matter at all. There's no difference. All right, well, wish me luck. Good luck. Hello, and welcome to the White House. I'm the President of the Earth. Well, it's time to suck my tits, Captain Life Jacket. What? Uh, nothing. Oh my god, Santa Claus, is that you? Yes, it is, Scoot. I'm Skeet. Whatever. Santa, I can't believe it's you. I I thought I'd never see you again. Please, come in. Really? Of course, Santa. I'm so happy you're here. I hope you can forgive me for the way I acted 15 years ago. You see, I was a horrible alcoholic. I used to drink 50 to 60 cans of liquor every day. Those Dr. Pepper cans I held in my hand, that wasn't Dr. Pepper, okay? That was liquor, and sometimes beer, and sometimes wine, or sometimes a mixture of the three of them. And I still drink 50 to 60 of them every day, and I'm absolutely wasted all the time. But I still, I feel terrible for the way I acted back then, and I hope you can forgive me, because I've been searching for you for years Uh, I have a search party going from planet to planet looking for you and when they can't find you they burn the planet down with fire wow so you're not mad at me there were things that were said on both sides that were regrettable I'm sure I was blackout that night the only thing I remember from that night is the piss and shit that I found in my bed in the morning whatever you said or did I forgive you Santa Claus because I have enough love in my heart to do so and I hope you do too and you can forgive me but if not I have a few things to offer you to make you change your mind. First things first, do you want to be my vice president? Hey, I thought I was the vice president. Shut the fuck up, Scoot. Wow, you want me to be the vice president of the earth? You don't have to answer me right now, but listen to these perks, okay? You get a jacuzzi. You get full access to the petting zoo, and you get your very own vice presidential switchblade. Switchblade? Yeah, pretty fucking cool, right? Wow, vice president switchblade Santa. Now that has a ring to it. Want to hold it? I thought you'd never ask. Holy fuck. I know, right? I got like 50 of them. 
wait, you have 50 of them and I only get one? Why is that fair? Oh, I, I don't know. I, it might be because you're vice president and I'm president. I don't know. I think one of them is higher than the other. I don't fucking know. I don't make the fucking rules around here. <laughs> you want some of this shit? Sure, why not? Oh, this tastes like gasoline. Yep. Say, do you want to see the room with all the buttons? Um, okay. Okay, good. Follow me. You're not going to believe this shit. Welcome to the button room. Let me show you a few of them. I press this button to hijack every TV station and radio station in the world, and I have a audience with every person on Earth. It really helps when I have, like, a song lyric or something stuck in my head. And I press this button to give me all the cheeseburgers I want. And I press this button to blow up the world. And I press this button to summon my beautiful wife. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You have a beautiful wife? Oh, yeah. Take a look. Holy shit. Yeah, and the best part is I didn't have to do any courting. She became my wife and I became the president. It's part of the deal. Do I get a beautiful wife? No, but you get to be friends with the guy that runs the petting zoo. He seems pretty cool. Hello! Oh god, that guy's fucking old. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he has sex with the kangaroos. Anyway, I'm gonna go meet up with all my best friends that are obligated to be my best friends because I'm the president and they're gonna lick all, all the blood off my penis. I wish I could explain to you why there's blood on my penis, but I don't remember last night and I don't remember the night before. Or the night before that. Or the night before that. You have people that are obligated to be your best friends? Yeah, it's pretty fucking great. I love having best friends. Yeah, so do I. I mean, at least a few times I had best friends, I did l love having them, but... Do I get to have any best friends? I already told you, you get to be friends with Farmer Kangaroo. Hi again! Oh god, I don't want that guy to lick the blood off my penis. Oh! This is fucking bullshit. Being president is so much better than being the vice president. If you're upset, then why don't you take a soak in the vice presidential jacuzzi? Don't get it mixed up with the presidential jacuzzi, though. That's mine. Oh, for fuck's sake. Let me ask you something, Scoot. Skeet. Yeah, whatever. Listen, if you die, do I become the president? Yep, that's how it works. Wow, they make it too easy. Oh. 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 A two Santa Claus. Who's the president now, Skeet? Who's the president now? Hey, that was a pretty good line. I gotta remember to tell Miranda about that one. God, what happened? Scout! It's Scoot! Whatever. Did you just kill the president? What? No! Well, here you are, returning to the scene of the crime here. How do you explain that, huh? Uh, I, I, I don't know. And look at that. It's the murder weapon. The vice presidential switchblade. I bet it's got your fingerprints all over it. Oh, no! Oh, no is right, you son of a bitch. Police! <coughs> Officers, this elf just killed the president of the earth, and Farmer Kangaroo is his accomplice. It is my first order as acting president of the world to demand you to arrest these two men and put them in jail for the rest of their lives without trial. But I have a wife and kids! Well, that's too bad, because they won't be allowed to visit. Take him away, boys! <coughs> Wow, who would have thought old Switchblade Santa becoming president of the Earth? Switchblade Santa takes the White House. That's a good name for the movie. Uh, how about this? Uh, Santa in the house. Switchblade Santa goes to Washington. Sexy old Switchblade Santa Claus takes a hop, skip, and a jump and ends up in the throne at the White House. Oh, there we go. That one's perfect. All right, first things first. It's time for me to meet my beautiful wife. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Wow, you look different than your picture. You look old. You look... The picture was taken a while ago. Anyway, uh, husband, your husband, he died, and I'm president now. And uh, that means... Uh, somebody told me that means that you and I are like husband and wife now or something like that. I was like, what? <laughs> me? I haven't seen a woman in 10 years. Anyway... Um, that's fine. Uh, I just thought, you know, we make the most of this uh, situation. You know, we uh, get to know each other physically and emotionally as well. You have to agree to be very gentle with me. It actually might take me about three and a half years to have sex with you, properly at least. The role of the president's wife is actually quite hands-off. I barely spoke to the last one. There's somebody else I see on the side. His name is David. Okay, so that's kind of disappointing, but also a relief at the same time. And it's really not about how old you've gotten. It's, it's all me. I'm extremely insecure about my body. So anyway, where are all those best friends of mine? We're over here! Hey, uh, fellas, gotta say, I'm looking forward to, uh, uh, taking some time off my schedule to get a good penis licking in because I have some blood caked on from 10 years ago that is gonna it's gonna take a while to get off so we're gonna get to know each other pretty well 
Sounds great to us, chum. Wow, everybody here is very agreeable. I really like being the president already. I mean, I just feel the power. I honestly just want to take to the streets and start yelling at people and uh, making them feel small and making myself feel more supreme. Say, there wouldn't be like some sort of presidential motorbike or something that I could hop on and ride around and flaunt my superiority on? Not a motorbike, no, but there is the presidential scooter. Fuck, that'll have to do. Hey, big boy. What? I'm the president of the earth. Fuck you! Oh my god. I'm the president and I fucking love it. Fuck! Who the fuck just threw this fucking apple at my head? I'm the mother of that boy you just cursed at. I've come to get my revenge! Not so fast. Robot prison guard? I've traveled many galaxies to find you, Claus. You killed two of my sons. And I will have my revenge on you once and for all. Not so fast. Little alien guy? Yes, I have traveled many galaxies to find you, Claus. You stole my spaceship and as a result, my wife and my child and our family dog died in the fire. And I will have my revenge once and for all. Not so fast. Blim Blim, the trunkless gray thing. I'm an elephant. Oh, then where's your trunk? You shot it off me. Right, so that means you're not an elephant anymore, but go on. Yes, I have traveled many galaxies. You know what, you guys can spare me with the speeches, okay? You came here for many galaxies, blah, blah, blah. And we waited here for many years. Where were you? I had a little problem with the GPS, okay? I didn't know there were so many fucking Earths. Anyway, now that I'm here, I'm gonna get my revenge on you, once and for all. Not so fast. Who the hell are you? Ah, oh, God, this is my violent ex-stepfather that I told you about. Duncan, what the hell are you doing here? Why hasn't your mother returned my calls? She doesn't love you. She never did. She only ever married you to make my real father jealous. That's not true. It can't be. Duncan, put the hammer down, okay? Put it down. It's your fault. You turned her against me. Duncan, no. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, God, what have I done? Well, that worked out for me. Okay, who else is here for revenge? I am. Jesus Christ, is that you? How you been, old buddy? Heartbroken ever since you trained my cat to eat my foreskin. And so I have come for revenge. Once and for all. Not so fast. What the fuck are you? Jesus, it's me, your foreskin. I've been looking all over for you. Nine years ago, I woke up in the cat's litter. Oh my god, is it really you? Yes, and baby, I wanna get married. Do you, sir, take this foreskin to be your lovely wedded foreskin? I do! And do you, Foreskin Jones, take this guy to be your lovely wedded guy? Yes, I... Oh my god! Jesus Christ, I think I just stepped in your fiancé. He's about to be more than my fiancé, you son of a bitch! Oh my god, calm down! No! I'm gonna get my revenge! What? Yeah, yeah, once and for all, who's next? It's me! Mrs. Christ. Mrs. Christ, what did I do to you? You stole my iPad. Oh, right. I didn't think you'd notice that. Next! It's me, Mrs. Claus. And what did I do to you? A few hours ago, you rejected my offer of being one of my several muscular boyfriends, and it did horrible things to my ego. And not to mention, we were married for several years, and you were an awful husband. Uh Uh-huh. And next... Yes, hello, it's me, the spider monster. And reason for revenge? You got away before I could buy your bones, darling. Well, that's not really a reason for revenge, but okay, get in line. Next. Santa, it's me, the ghost of Rudolph. Wait, what the fuck? There's revenge ghosts now? Yeah, pretty cool, eh? I'm back, baby. Aw, oh, fuck, does that mean... It's me, the ghost of Blimblin. God damn it. Thought you could get away from me, eh? Not so fast. Who are you? I'm Santa Claus's rock best friend who you threw off a cliff. God damn it. I traveled galaxies to find you, and it's time for me to get my revenge once and for all. Oh, 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 nice. Another easy break for Santa Claus. Yes, and now we can finally be best friends. Ooh, sorry, Rock. I actually already have a bunch of best friends. Hey. Well, now I have to get revenge on you, Santa Claus. Not so fast. It's me, the ghost of the Green Goblin. I heard it was you, Santa Claus, that didn't give me the base jeans that I wanted. All I want is base jeans. That's all I want. Here, take mine. Oh, 
Thank you. Well, I still want to get my revenge. And so do I. Yes, it's me, the ghost of Wednesday the Golfing Dog. And also me, the ghost of Skeet the Drunk Elf. And I'm the ghost of the giant baby that you shit on. And I'm the ghost of the robot baby that you shit on. My boys. Steady. And we are the ghosts of all the children and elf children that you've killed over the years by shitting on. There are thousands of us. All right, no, that's enough. Uh, it's just stop talking. All right, we're done the roast, everybody. Good job. Good job on the roast jokes. You guys really got me there, and I, I appreciate all your hard work. So you know what? I'm going to buy you a cake. I should have done this earlier. I'm going to go buy a nice big chocolate cake. Um, so just hang tight here, and I'm going to hop on my motorbike and get going. Did we just let him get away? Well, he said something about getting us cake. Yeah, and I love cake. You idiots, that motherfucker fooled us like he always does. Let's get him. Switchblade Santa with another magnificent escape. Oh, here comes the angry mob, those ungrateful bastards. Don't they like chocolate cake? Well, it's okay. I got a plan. Hello? Miranda, it's me, Santa Claus. Yes, I know it's you. You're the only one that has this number. All right, all right. I just need you to meet me at the White House, okay? Okay, but just so you know, I haven't left. I'm a computer. I don't need to go anywhere. I've been waiting for you this whole time. I don't need to go get a pretzel or go shopping or anything. All right, I'm just giving you a heads up, Miranda, okay? I'm going to be running out of the White House soon, waving my arms, and you better be ready to go. I am always ready to go. Well, then I'm fucking sorry for calling, then. I uh, Totally unnecessary. What a fucking idiot I am, eh? Your words, not mine. Well, as much as I'm enjoying this lovely chat, Miranda, I do have to go because I'm arriving at the White House and I have to defeat this angry mob. Okay, bye then. What a fucking piece of work. We're going to kill you, Claus. Fuck. All right, where the fuck is that button room? It's down that hallway. Thanks, Scrat. I'm Scott. I don't give a shit. All right, fuck. Which button does what? Why aren't they labeled? Uh, How about this one? Hi. Oh, hi. Sorry, I pressed the wrong button. Uh, This is awkward. He must be David. Yep. Nice to meet you, David. You're a very lucky man. All right, which button do I press? All right, this one. Oh, God, that's a lot of cheeseburgers. All right, then it's got to be this one. Your voice is now amplified to every TV and radio station across the world. Oh, fuck. Hi, everybody. Um, It's me, the president. It's nice to talk to you, everybody. Um, How's it going? You're good? The, it's, it's fun being the president of the world. A lot of people are mad at me, but you know what? I'm just going to come clean. We've had a good run on the Earth, eh? You know, a long time, a few hundred thousand maybe years. Humanity, you know what? They've, we've, we've done everything we can do. We've loved as many people we can love and had sex and uh, drank beer and all that stuff. So I, that's all that all we, we've taken all that we really can out of uh, the world. It's your fault, actually. You did bad things. You sinned. You uh, had premarital sex and jacked off. And you littered. You spat on the ground. You walked inside of your house with your shoes on. You were mean to Mother Earth. And worst of all, you were mean to me. Thou giveth, and thou shalt take it away. I, I have decided that uh, you guys are done. We're just gonna. I'm just gonna press the button, and the world's gonna explode if I can find what fucking button it is. Yeah, sorry about that, but that's just the way it is. And uh, be good to each. Be kind. Yeah, that's a good message. Be kind. Be nice to each other. Get your affairs in order, as they say. You know, um, tell the ones that you love that you love them. You you don't have a lot of time. I am gonna press the button pretty soon, so hurry up. You probably don't have time to have sex right now, but you can. Uh, try, I guess, if you started, like, right now as I'm talking right now, or, you know, um, start jacking off or something. Or start finger-banging yourself, or start slam-dancing, or crowd-surfing, or crop-dusting, or whatever damn you damn kids do these days. I don't know. I haven't been here in a while, actually. But anyway, uh, goodbye. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna press this button, and uh, good good night. Good night, Earth. All right, it's gotta be this button, right? Ah, oh, god damn it, I hit the cheeseburger button again. That is so many cheeseburgers. Hey, can I just show you which fucking button it is? Oh, sure, thanks, David. It's this one. Awesome, thank you. Oh, fuck. You just realized what you just did, eh? Yeah. You just showed me how to blow up the world, thank you. Oh, god. Oh, fuck, I already forgot which one you said. Which one did you say it was again? I'm not going to tell you. No, not going to tell me? Is it this one? 
Oh, shit. Oh, that was the cheeseburger button again. God, that is a lot of cheeseburgers. God damn it, it's this one, okay? Oh, it is? Oh, fuck. You did it again, David. Fuck. You told me how to blow up the world again. Fuck. And guess what? I was just pretending to not know the second time. I just wanted to see if you were really that fucking stupid. Hey, stop being so mean to David. I'm not being fucking mean, okay? I just want him to know that the world is about to explode and it's all his fault. Oh, God, I'm such a fucking idiot. Yeah, I hope you take that shame to the afterlife, David, with your friend. Friends and your home. Leave David alone. All right, I'll leave you both fucking alone, so you can say your fucking goodbyes before you explode. Okay, but before I go, I got a fucking button to push. The world will explode in one minute. Evacuate the Earth immediately. All right, gotta go. Ooh, I almost forgot. There's an angry mob behind the store. I think my trusty old switchblade might solve this problem. All right, let's fucking do this. Hey, everybody. We're gonna kill you, Claus. No, you're not. Take that. Out of my way. Fuck you. The world will explode in 33 seconds. Fuck, I gotta run. Miranda, open the door. Fuck, why wasn't the door open? I told you to be ready. Gotta say, I'm not a huge fan of your tone right now. I don't care, just go. Fine. Holy fuck! Miranda, we made it! With 10 seconds to spare! Damn, we make a great team. Wait, don't get too far from the Earth. Let's watch it explode. Wow. It's... it's beautiful. And Miranda... You're beautiful, too. I'm sorry it's taken the world exploding for me to say this, but you're my best friend. And honestly, I don't care that you don't have a tongue to lick the dried blood off my penis. Our friendship means more than that. I know we've been together a long time, but this is just the beginning. You've made me a better man, and I'm not going to act selfishly anymore. Being nice is my new thing. And that's all thanks to you. So thank you, Miranda. What the fuck was that? What the hell's going on? Here's Blim Blim. Oh, for God's sakes. Yes, it's me, the ghost of the ghost of your old friend Blim Blim. And also me, I'm the ghost of Blim Blim's trunk. And it's time you finally got what's coming to you, Claus. I'm gonna strangle you with my trunk. What? Yup, I'm gonna kill you. Here, here I go. What? No, Miranda, do something! Save me! I'm sorry, but I don't really want to. <laughs> Yes, I am. <laughs> wow, I did it. I can't believe it. He's finally dead. For so long I've waited to do this. And now I can finally go home. Miranda, take me to Earth number four, a.k.a. the planet of the elephants. Leaving for Earth Four. Estimated time of arrival, 20 minutes. <laughs> Arriving at Earth 4. Oh my god, I'm finally home. Mother, father, it's me. Blim Blim, thank god you're home. I'm so glad you two finally got back together. Oh, Blim Blim, by the way, you have an appointment this afternoon with the king. The king? Hello, Blim Blim. I am King Arthur of the Elephants. I have heard of your heroic adventures, and I now knight you with this sword, Elephant Scalibur, to be one of my knights of my king's court. Sir Blim Blim, the Elephant. Thank you, King Arthur. I am honored. And as a knight, you have access to the Royal Golf Course. Would you like a round? Oh my god. It's beautiful. Yes, I would like a round. Yes, I would. Wait, can I join you for the round? Who are you? I'm the ghost of David. Of course you can join David. Of course you can. Thank you so much, Blim Blim. You're welcome, David. You're welcome. I just realized something. What is it? The name of this movie is Golfing Around. 
I'm night golfing, I'm a golfing night. I'm night golfing and my name is David. I'm night golfing and that's night with a K. Night golfing, night golfing, night golfing, yeah. Night golf, yeah. Night golf, yeah. Night golf, yeah. Hey, buddy. Yeah? I'm night golfing. Cool. King Arthur's my boss, but he's also my friend. Yeah, I'm night golfing. This guy here's David. He's a ghost, and so am I. And we're night golfing. And I'm singing this song. This song's about to end, and so is the movie. Thanks for watching. <laughs>